Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Time with Sarge. As you can see, we are back in the month of June. Sun is shining, bees are humming, we moved our uh, pallet placement, added some new beehives at the end of the last video. We have honey. We have 104 kilograms of that. We also have our field down here of um, soybeans and sorghum. Uh, we currently have the tractor set up over there. We're going to start trying to add some fertilizer to that field and um, wait for this to grow. That's all we really got going on. I think I got a pile of honey in here that we had last time. So we're going to keep rolling with that. Pull Rayman in here in a minute and rock and roll. Scenes in a minute. I so what's on the agenda for Sarge's farm today? Why I am testing my shovel out by cleaning up some of these wood chips I had laying around and there you go. The physics of this shovel are interesting. But other than that, it's um like I was telling everybody before so we got here. Grab it yeah. grab it by the handle. Oh, I, am, at the end. I am grabbing it at the end, but then Make when I look sure. up it's standing straight up and down. Yeah, don't look up. Look straight ahead. So you can also use the middle mouse button, click it, and you can rotate it in your hand. So that's how you can pour it out and stuff. You don't have to like look up and all that. Look down. <laughs> that was hilarious. Well, there was way more wood chips in that shovel than I thought were humanly possible. Um, I feel oh, this yeah. <laughs> soybeans is growing right, right along. Looks like it. I just threw my shovel into the soybean field. We'll have to get that back. Um, looks like it's going to be good to go in my sorghum field. I think I'm going to try to refertilize depending on um, how that goes and then the, something else i don't know yet <laughs> what about you all right sounds good i am gonna do some more grass cutting i'm getting low on funds so can't imagine your farm utilizing grass cutting. and i can throw that shovel really far um all right roll up oh come on just just roll yeah Eat it behind me because this is a shovel throwing competition. And here we go. Let's see if we can't clean up some of these. There we go. There we go. Let's scoop up this pile. Yep. Okay. Okay, so the fertilizer is good here. I guess I'm going to try it with lime next. See if it needs lime. That's a new field that you cut, correct? Uh, yeah, so I have one that's on stage right. two of growing. That's the soybean, then the right. sorghum's on then phase you got one. The sorghum, okay. So, yeah, I mean, check the sorghum field for lime. I'm assuming you limed the soybean field when you first cut it. Yeah. So, yeah, you should be good on both of those if you run over at one time with each. Now testing to see if my spreader kills my crops. And it does. Well, that's fun. So your tractor didn't, but your spreader did. So my, um, I haven't checked with my tractor, but my tractor should be good because it's narrow tires. Right. As, yeah, as is mine. It's good. Um, but my pull behind spreader from John Deere that I have, apparently the tires on it, not so much. And That's I'm, also a cedar though, correct? It's a please? cedar slash fertilizer spreader. No, no, this one's just a pull behind spreader. Now my cedar Oh okay, it don't have a seeding option. My I have a cedar that has a fertilizer option. I was and thinking I about tried John Deere pull behind had a, a seed option as well, but I must be wrong. You might be able to do seed in it, I guess. But when I hook up to it, it doesn't have like. I'm just going off. off. I'm going off memory, so I, I'm this very potential that I'm way off. So when I hook up so to my cedar, I have a seed thing, and then a fertilizer button. When I hook up to the uh, 
to the spreader, it just has the fertilizer bag. No, no option to choose seeds. Right, so. right. Okay, but it does lime as well. Correct? It does. It, it's just a straight up spreader of anything. So okay. I can put yeah, whatever. So I mean, in. both of them are useful at least. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean it's still extremely useful to me. I just I can't lime. For example, if if my field was to need lime, I'm kind of hoodooed now. Right. Unless, which I mean, I don't, I can't put lime in this either. I mean, you, right. Now I'm and that's curious. The, that's the reason I've always liked tractor mounted spreaders. Yeah. It's because it's no matter the growth state, you can always go in and spray or drop or throw or whatever kind of spreader it is, right? Because there's different kinds, but you can always use them. You don't have to worry about crop destruction. And I understand how frustrating crop destruction is, but I love the realism of it. Well, we live and learn, right? I mean, yeah, that's part of it. I don't think, I mean, obviously, I don't know how much you destroyed, but it shouldn't hurt you too bad. So as we were having that discussion, I was trying to check with my cedar as well, because it looks like it has narrow tires on it. Yeah, uh, it pushed two branches over and I was like, oh, it's good. And then I cut half of the corner of my field down, so... Dang. It's not a big amount. It's still a very small section, but it was just a wing. <laughs> right. No, but man. I get it. No, I mean, I agree with you on the on the realism factor. I just I didn't want to do that much, but it did. So here we are. It happens, brother. If that's right. the worst thing that happens, it, you're doing great. You know, the honey yeah. business is not thriving as I'd hoped, but it's getting there. No, it takes a while for the honey. Um, so I like to have usually if I if I don't place four four hives at a time i really don't waste my time with it i um, have five down now yeah and you know obviously we found out last time that you can't replace the pallet so that held you back a little bit on that also so you would probably have more than you have had that not happened which to be sure. fair i didn't know you couldn't do that either so i learned something from that as well I'm glad we can learn from my failure It is nice. gauntlet we got through though that's that was i'm just glad that's behind us yeah that should be nice i mean with the way y'all are playing right now it's like you said the other day y'all are in good shape to head to the georgia season. georgia looked really really good against old miss uh best game they played all year so they're clicking you know that's gonna be a a, a mock national championship game i think winner of that right. game's got to be the favorite going into the championship or into the playoffs oh. um yeah now that that's something that mark talks about a lot in his podcast is about how back then you know you didn't have young kids drive and even when he came in in like the mid 80s when he was in his like mid 20s it was still super young right
Why, seriously? Why, why extra money?
think this shit is full. And if that's the case, I am got a lot more hay to try to figure out where to store. Well, I and mean, you don't have to store it all. I mean, you can store, you know, let's say twenty to forty bales every time you cut, bales. and then once you get <laughs> animals, well, or you know, pile whatever. Yeah, we. You you could store a certain amount every time you you cut and Ted, and then sell the rest. That way, you still got an income coming, but you're able to store enough that you know. You cut every two or three months. You put X amount in there. Over time, that's going to build up. <laughs> this is amazing. What? You's, you's going to have to see what I've come up with. That's all I know to say. And I'm storing it now because the price of it is very low. So I'm storing it to sell it later, I think. I need something so I went ahead and made sales and things that I probably would have waited on other ones because I know it's worth more to me later but and I just sitting on six grand ain't cutting it and that right there was in fact I made almost a thousand dollars out of one forge trailer and I think I can get three more over here
All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, as you'll notice, we've came up on the end of the day real fast, so we're uh, we're gonna call it even. I'm gonna sell this, and then I'm going to um, maybe sell my honey. I doubt I'll get it done before the end of the day. And I guess we'll do a tour of each other's sites next time. So we'll get to check out what Garrett's got going on, and you'll get to see uh, how our stuff grows. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've had a good time. If you did, please hit the like and sub button. Throw a comment down there. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want us to do, or maybe what you want me to do with the farm. And uh, yeah. We'll catch you guys when we roll around, roll around to July. See you later. That's a long outro. Listen, man, I messed up. I had to restart. The, uh, okay. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't cut into it, but at the same time, I was getting oh, nervous. I literally, I literally said, have a good day. That has a long outro. <laughs> Are so you it serious? Was perfect timing. I'm That's so dead funny. Serious. Perfect timing. Well, I just went um, yeah, and unloaded so, my honey. Oh, did you? Well, I mean, I haven't sold it, but I went and picked it up. It was completely full oh, yeah. pallet. All right. Well, I'm going to pause time right here. Actually, I'm too late. Oh, nope. Dead I paused on it. it just in time. All right. So, well, I'm going to head over to my tent. I'm going to hit the sleep button. And uh, we'll pick it up next time around.